By the time you carry your leg, come Ghana, <laughs> your confession will change. Yes, you heard what I said. Your confession, it will change. Now we go they confess. Now we go they advertise. Now we go they talk about Ghana. So long as you they do good thing for Ghana, you go live freely. You go live freely and peacefully. But if you have bad mind, you know go they see the positive things about Ghana. Now the negative you go they see. If one percent crime they happen for Ghana in Nigeria, it will be two hundred percent. So how you go take compare one percent crime with two hundred percent crime now? Eh? Be happy for Ghana. Be happy for Ghana, and God go pity you small. Bless you. Now, what we not supposed to do be that? Hello, guys. My name is Delphina. I'm very, very excited returning back to you. So today, I want us to check a video together and share our thought. Yeah, a video of a Nigerian guy with his entire family. Yes, you heard me right. With his entire family who wish to be Ghanaians. So let's watch this video together and share our thoughts. Let's watch. All the things that Ghanaians are claiming that their country is better than Nigeria. Have you ever heard or seen any Nigeria that say, I wish I am from Ghana? I actually wish I'm from Ghana. Yes, I'm a Nigerian and I am more Nigerian than the person talking. And the truth is that I actually wish I'm from Ghana. And I'll tell you why. If my family was from Ghana, we would have thrived much more than we're thriving. My family is an academic family. And I know that Ghana nurtures academic minds. Meanwhile, Nigeria nurtures criminal minds. Yes, this means that if your family has more of a criminal tendency, you will thrive more in Nigeria. But if your family thrives, or if your family has more of a civil tendencies or civil mindedness, you cannot truly thrive in Nigeria. You can't. It's kind of really hard for you to thrive as someone that has integrity, dignity, honor in Nigeria. It's so hard. So for my family, own to the fact that we have those qualities and we're very much academically inclined and we cannot compromise standards, it's a lot more harder for us to thrive much more than we should. But if we're in Ghana, I know that by now, for crying out loud, now my, my parents probably would have been at the helm of their political affairs, you know, that kind of a thing. So they would have thrived so much. They would have really, really thrived so much. So I wish I was from Ghana. I wish I'm a Ghanaian. And that's the truth. I'm not missing words with this. One of the things I consider being a Nigerian as a course. Let me tell you something. This is not just for me. I speak for everybody that has a civil mentality. I speak for everyone that has a civil mentality. If you have a civil mentality and you're in Nigeria, the truth is that you would always wish that you're from Ghana. Or you would always wish that you're not from Nigeria. But when it comes to Nigeria and Ghana, you would always wish that you're from Ghana. But it's unfortunate, like I've always said, 98% of Nigerians have criminal tendencies. As a matter of fact, Nigerians thrive. is a trend now for you to delve into criminality in Nigeria. It's a, it's a natural thing. John, it's, a, it's just a natural, like, it's a natural thing, you know. As a criminal, you, you see, in Nigeria, we breathe. You come to our churches, every one of them, criminals, all of them. School, oh God, all of them, including private schools, criminality substandard compromised nothing about character zero criminality that's why nigerians have created so much of a strong criminal system that they cannot install any government that doesn't have criminal tendency is impossible is it possible hey all this well i thought i was the only one who wished to be Ghanaian. <laughs> i don't know i have people hmm. When I never start to the talk yet, this is just the beginning. When I never start to the talk, when I never start to the accept the truth, when I never start to the accept the fact that Ghana is doing better than Nigeria, when I never start. I be you then Nigeria, you don't know what's going to happen for Ghana. That's why you have the right or you have the infantry to open your mouth and be splitting some kind of, you know, dirty, dirty words about Ghana, calling Ghana small, calling Ghana common, calling Ghana some all, all sort of names like... <laughs> By the time you carry your leg, come Ghana, <laughs> your confession will change. Yes, you heard what I said. Your confession, it will change. Now when I go, they confess. Now when I go, they advertise. Now when I go, they talk about Ghana. <laughs> In one of my videos, I shared my experience during my school days. I never thought I would ever return to Ghana, but here am I. I'm in Ghana right now, and I'm, I'm enjoying life. As you can see, I'm, 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 I'm okay. I'm okay. I am fresh. I am looking, you know. So waiting when they talk now. Waiting, how far? Now envious one key you are waiting. I don't understand. Don't you know that if you are happy for for a person, God go pity you small, bless you. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know one thing about about Nigerians. They don't like to see somebody happy. 
especially Ghana. I don't know what is the problem. I don't know. We see Ghana as our brother. So why would I they carry Ghana for heads? Like when I hate Ghana. Why? Why? Why would I hate Ghana like that? Well, make I just leave and say now for comment section when I they talk all this kind of thing. But inside of you, through through you love Ghana. Because I never see Ghanaian, I mean, I never see Nigerian wait day for Ghana. Wait open your mouth, talk the thing about Ghana. I never see. If you see, then prove me wrong. You can send the video. You can inbox me the video. Make I carry I see. Because I never see. And I want see. If you think what you are talk, no be true. I bet you, anybody will live for Ghana before, will say negative thing about Ghana. Maybe that person is a bad person. Because this Ghana, so long as they do good thing for Ghana, you go live freely. You go live freely and peacefully. But if you have bad mind, you know going to see the positive things about Ghana. Now the negative you go to see. And by the way, you can never compare bad bad things where they happen in Nigeria with the ones where they happen for Ghana. Never, 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 never. Never. If 1% crime, they happen for Ghana, in Nigeria, it will be 200%. So how you go take compare 1% crime with 200% crime now? Eh? How you go take, make that comparison? How, how, how? How you go compare? How? How? It's high time for us to accept the fact that ah, Nigeria has failed us. It has failed us. Be happy for Ghana. Be happy for Ghana. And God go pity you small. Bless you. Now, what are we supposed to do with that? Eh? But rather, you go come the split some kind of nonsense, nonsense things, stupid, stupid things. That Ghana, this Ghana, that Ghana, small Ghana, come on, Ghana, Ghana, where they like my backyard. If you see the comments where people they drop here, when I go say they go fit fix Nigeria, so with this kind of mindset, when Nigerians get, I don't even know what I want to talk right now. Now, your brother, be this way, come out, they talk, say, if we say income from Ghana, you know, even talk, say, Oliamu, him and his entire family, they wish, say. They come from Ghana. If they day Ghana, they for know where they them day by now. That's because Nigeria, Nigeria has failed them. For Nigeria, life is all about connection. No, if you like, go school, do your PhD, do your masters. If there is anything that is more than uh, PhD crown, if you like, have them. If you not get connection for Nigeria, or you're for you. <laughs> life for Nigeria, it's all about connection. No, you will get PhD. You go see person. We get secondary school certificate. They are ahead of you for office. If they collect, if they cash out money, government they pay them. Money, like hard currency. You will get degree. You will get master's. You will get PhD. You know, even see job, they do. I feel this guy pain, no. I feel his pain. Because I'm a living testimony. I have degree. And I know they do anything with my degree. It's inside my box. It's inside my box right now. I never carry my, my, my certificate work before. And my parents spend money. They, they paid my school fee. They spend money on me to get that degree. So I can't advise myself. Instead of me to go for my master's, make a kukuma keep the degree. Because as they spend money on me now, make I use the certificate. Get small money so that I can, I can be able to send myself, go do master's. But as I no carry IC job, my brother, I advise myself, I advise myself, say, Del, keep that certificate for one side. Do what thing will help you. At the tell winner. I don't go blame those people where they leave Nigeria. They go other countries, they do bad, bad things. Now the government, the government has failed. The government has failed us. That's why people are leaving the country, going to another man's land. And when they are not making it there, they put their hands into, in, in doing horrible things. Guys, eh? I beg, Nigeria has failed us. Nigeria has failed us. Seriously. I don't even know what to say again, no. At this point, I'm speechless. So this brings me to the end of my video. If you're watching from Facebook or TikTok, please follow this channel and like this video. And if you're watching from YouTube, please subscribe to the channel, like this video, share this video to as many eyes out there. I believe you'll watch and also learn one or two things on this clip. I love you guys always. Bye.